Well, mate, um, the Nixon and Bloodstock colours, we've seen them on the track. Uh, you've had um, you know, some success on the track, but, mate, this must be um, a new level of excitement for you and the family. Yeah, it is, Mark. Like, obviously, we get a lot of enjoyment racing horses, um, but when this is sort of, um, you know, what we do, breed horses to bring to the sales, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it really is a pinnacle and um, the highlight of my involvement in the sport. So I started out, like, you know, uh, wanting to, you know, breed horses when I got into the sport. So, yeah, no, this is, it's wonderful. Mate, tell me about the um, the different emotion, I suppose. You, the mother was an outstanding mare for you, and you're, you're probably lucky to get your hands on such a great mare. What's the bigger buzz, her, her racing career or um, seeing the progeny starting to come through like that? Um, yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Look, uh, Carlos Pixel just gave us multiple highlights, you know, so I guess there I had lo- lots of... Um, uh, you know, really exciting times, and with Mark Denyer, who I raced the mare with. So that was, I think it's different. This one here is just, I mean, today, the last three years, you know, you know like um, a lot has transpired just to get to this day. So I think this is probably more satisfying uh, than exciting. I think also, mate, when you see a horse of that calibre that we all recognise the, the potential of that cult, um, to go to a stable, to go to the, the, the hands of a rangeman like um, you know, Nathan Jack, that must be really satisfying for you to see that horse given that sort of chance. Yeah, it is. And um, I think I, I spoke to Paul before and just mentioned how when you get the, the calibre of horse people and owners who inspected him that I did, that was just, you know, that was great, great feedback for me and really um, good that people I respect had a, had a look at the horse. And then the Cluses have been big investors in the sport for a long time. Um, they have bought a horse off me previously, but I just think um, some of their recent successes are really, you know, great reward. You know, with their Bathurst, they were, you know, part owners in um, uh, what's his name, um, the horse that won the Bathurst Colts, um, and um, Chart Topper, and then obviously, you know, the, the Phillies they came second, and then off the back of their success with the captain, Philly, uh, the captain Colt school captain last year. So they're obviously it's working for them and Nathan, and and Nathan's done a wonderful job you know, with that young stock as well. So, no, I'm just, yeah, really pleased. I guess um, from our point of view, the, the, the nutrient um, entry into the market, which I suppose it started four years ago, um, you're on ground zero when we des- decided to become involved. Um, it must be satisfying with take away the fact that you might be the vendor or the owner of the horse to see an Australian record and to see what's evolved over three years. Yeah, it is. It's quite remarkable to see how big that bloody catalogue is now. You know, it used to be just long. Now it's fat. You know, there's a lot of horses, and you guys have done a terrific job in bringing, um, I guess, a new way of selling horses to the eastern seaboard. And um, I think it's, you know, this year's it's been challenging. You know, it's it's always hard selling horses in this market. We do tend to lack owners, number of owners, and um, we've still got a lot of people willing to bring their horses here. And when you look through the catalogue and the online catalogue now, the level of preparation and investment that goes into those horses. I see that in the 300 horses there this weekend and I see the pride people have in those horses. And so when sales are tough, you you sort of feel for them because we've all been in that situation. But um, one thing I know is uh, with the nutrient experience since we did sort of embark on that is the constant has been the respect that vendors have felt that nutrient have extended to them, Uh, the hospitality and the help and the support um, in what is never an easy thing selling horses in, in this market so uh, I'm grateful for Nutrien's involvement and I just think that the level of um, presentation, coverage and promotion has um, gone to a new level and um, yeah so whilst look I'm obviously really stoked that we got this great result today uh, but I'm all, I also think that it's part of the results aside it's good to bring your, your bloodstock here and, and feel um, valued by you guys um, and yeah, no, I think in, in, in trying times, hopefully tomorrow can continue. Well, hopefully tomorrow we can sell some more horses because overall we need people to leave this sale um, having sold their horses to want to come back next year. So, uh, yeah. Well, I guess that the thing is too, you, you look at a great racing product does need the investment of breeders to you put, it's two and three years of work to get a, a young horse when you choose your genetics and get them on the track. And yeah, it's not all the 35, 40, 50 horse stables that bring these great free-for-all horses to um, to town. So if you haven't bought yourself a horse yet, the vendors want to see you. Uh, Nutrien, we'd like to see you. And um, on behalf of the Nutrien team, um, Shannon and the family, the Nixon Bloodstock team, thank you very much for giving us the, the privilege to sell a horse of that quality. Ta, thanks very much, Mark, and thanks to all your team.